so I'm gonna do a quick video today and I'll call this one it no relation to the movie <laughs> now there's been a lot of strange things happening at least from what I've seen and I, uh, this ties into AI um, memory, time, s space, and um, and eugenics and transhumanism. So I've been talking about this on some of the last live streams and videos I've done. Um, I'm not gonna, you know, repeat anything, but keeping all that in mind. To start, it's kind of interesting that in the Ethiopian, well, more so the Semitic languages, but the Ethiopian languages, um, at least from what I've seen in the Semitic, the, there isn't well, and I'm pretty sure just in the language in general, but there isn't really a word for computer or for the most part, like technology. Um, and I remember I've seen people bring that up and they've asked why about that. And there's a really specific reason why certain things are omitted or not really within certain groups of languages, cultures, and people and things like that. Now, it, right? Now, one of the most important words to kind of just, I guess, that one, an important word or a, uh, how should I say, a word that, some, some of the words that people don't really look into, like the, it, and, right, things like that, are actually extremely deep words to look into. And when it comes to it, it, doesn't even really exist in our language either see it is actually how, how should i put it because you have for example i right and then you have you and then you have they right so you have first person second person third person now when we get into the study of language we also have to understand culture because culture is intricately linked with language now the reason why certain cultures don't have things in, in their languages is because it has nothing to do with their culture now there's a reason why technology and the word it and things like that are not really in our language, but it is also tied to et, as in like et, which is also tied to the word Ethiopia, like et, Ethiopia, right? Like it's tied to that, but at the same time, it does not exist in our culture. Like it's a interesting thing because it is denoting and you can look it up. So what is it? First person, second person, third person. It, it, it denotes a certain type of gender as well, which is non-gendered, right? And um, languages, you know, they some languages have gender-specific terms and all these type of things. So there's just a, um, when it comes to culture and language and stuff like that, that also determines like, real, it also uh, deals with the mind and reality and just how um, a civilization, a society, and a culture will function, right? Now, when we have so the important part about that is that it in the tech part is not really in our languages so that's important of why there's a reason why it's not because we just don't know what technology is but anyways so now and it doesn't mean we're like we don't know how to use technology either but anyways so beyond that right We have the word government, the word government to govern the mind. The word meant means mind, right? So when you're able to be self, basically your own governor, like be self-governing, right? You're able to operate using your own mind. And when you operate using your own mind, 
technically you're not really like I don't know like just uh, just the way I can put it is other governments <laughs> like people like uh, you depending on how you operate people can look at it certain types of ways right now people so sovereignty or I shouldn't really use the word sovereignty because it's been classified a certain type of way right now just being able to be self-governing aka being a majority at law being able to dictate your own actions this is also tying again back into what I was getting into with it so with sterilization transhumanism eugenics and androgyny this is also tying into it so with AI have you noticed a lot of AI looks very androgynous right so it you know sterility is also tied on one level to androgyny um, that's not the only way that that could be achieved like like a certain type of you could say balance between masculine and feminine but not like 50 50 that's not really balanced. but anyways but still not androgyny is like a it's also tied to sterility and sterilization is also tied to the calcification of the pineal gland because fertility is also tied into the pineal gland as well if people don't know so when it comes to sterilization and also the basically um inoculation or basically just turning a person docile or turning their pineal gland off calcifying it etc etc those two are th those two things are linked so having a calcified pineal gland and being also not able to have you know children are linked together and that's also linked with androgyny which is also linked with ai technology and transhumanism now why is androgyny also linked with transhumanism is because emotions also deal with um defining um <clears throat> gender right emotions are heavily tied with defining gender right obviously masculine and feminine um operate on different the, the, the way emotions are expressed are different right it, it's just gender is very specific with emotions as well now with ai transhumanism ro um not necessarily robots but more so again ai tech that is dealing with androgyny sterilization which is dealing with it or a lack of gender as well and that's also dealing with um not even really transgender this is like lack of gender but anyways um that's also dealing with again sterility means lack of drive and having a lack of drive means also not only is, is it like you have a government that governs your mind it's also like because with a government you still have a will and a drive and it's just like you have to follow under a certain set of rules etc etc and you're part of society but with this this is more like killing people's drive and will to do things and also um, confining people's minds and thoughts so that their minds and thoughts have to be a certain type of way as well as um you know like political correctness and all this other type of stuff but um anyways that's not really that too too important with that but the sterility the sterilization and the like the infertility and like the mind drive thing now with ai technology and again the mind people's consciousness is um not necessarily deteriorating but what's happening is if you've ever seen Fight Club and you've seen the reset that happens at the end of the movie, right? With the financial reset and all that type of stuff. See, with the reset and the pull shift, part of that is also being able to store your consciousness into the earth. So this is dealing with the soul star and the earth star chakra. And this is dealing with um, putting your putting your higher self, your consciousness back into yourself, right? Like uh, essentially storing your energy for, for a certain time period. And there's a reason for like this process, a certain type of, this certain type of process. Now, a lot of people aren't storing you could say their energy into their into their soul star into their they're not really um they're not really doing that what's happening is a lot of people's energy and attention and focus is is on technology and it's just on a lot of distractions right so in this time period when the reset is happening what happens is you go through like a dialysis process where all of your um energy again gets filtered out of your body and you get replaced with new energy it's kind of like the, it's a filtration process but when you do replace your energy the thing is is like that's part of your shadow body right so the like 
the energy that you're that's getting filtered out of you has like you know parts of your memory attached to um your shadow so this is why it's important to put it through the earth right so that that's where the shadow also gets fil filtrated you know filtrated through but this is so that um certain memories and um and karmic lessons and all these type of things get rectified through this um you could say energetic dialysis process that happens with this shift now as that happens people who don't have a space to store their consciousness which is usually like what we call a soul star chakra or soul etc etc and then on top of that the earth star chakra and you know going further past that obviously but still just that on the basic level what happens is people don't really have a space to store their consciousness into right so this is where governments come into play so people would usually store their consciousness into their own system of governance or, or their society that they're a part of right now with ai tech and and the new tech that's out here with like um vr tech and all this type of stuff right and cloud technology and all this this is also dealing with people storing their consciousness constantly every single day into the technology and their consciousness is going into the technology and people aren't really being aware of how they're getting interconnected through the internet so instead of having an ascension process they're actually getting put into the metaverse which a lot of people have talked about now the thing is it heavily happens during this time period because like i said the energetic dialysis process and it's like the energy has it's like you have to pee in you just have to let it out like just the energy has to get filtered through your body right so with this whole kind of uh system with technology uh, now call it a conspiracy call it whatever you might want to call it right but i have a feeling that um technology is like figuring out personality types through uh binary basically um information through getting basically people's like you know facial recognition uh voice patterns their um you know their information that they've inputted um and attaching it to their identification system because this this video is called it it is also id the identification right and a lot of this is also dealing with the real id act and you know all this type of stuff going on too right and rfid technology right so with rfid technology it's dealing with microwave technology like it's dealing with microwave frequencies it's low very low frequency technology and if you don't know with unesco and the transhumanist agenda every single thing in the universe is supposed to be emitting a microwave frequency for it to be trackable that's part of literally one of the goals <laughs> so you can go look that up but um that microwave frequency see that's an ultra low frequency and to operate at that ultra low frequency people's pineal glands and not only their pineal glands have to be calcified they they have to be sterilized too because if you've noticed you know sterilization that's dealing with the sacral chakra it's the color orange when you go down below that's the color red and when you go further that's the infrareds and that's where microwave radiation is at so you have to cut before people people were able to operate more like on a solar plexus level where people were more on like um yeah just more operating on like more of like a root to heart chakra somewhere level to an extent but now it's like people are um it's cut, people are just getting cut off on a root chakra level where it's just like your basic survival needs are starting to be uh, mapped out your people's survival patterns are being mapped out by technology essentially and instead of going into the wilderness to get the you know their needs it's like the tech um like basically how I'm, how i'm putting this is it seems like technology and ai and replication and um virtual reality is creating a way to map out human emotions through um interaction so there isn't it's not really that hard to create a virtual space that looks like a you know authentic real space and to create these virtual spaces and then you know to interact with people in the real world and then people like because i don't think people realize like the same way that you could be in a room you know that has like you're sitting there in a the room and there's like all these things around you like you know walls of like a roof all that technology can map out like they can create digital spaces and they can like technology can essentially scan your scan you into create like an artificial version of you in that space so it's almost like a um it's almost like if you had a dollhouse and you're pretending like a dollhouse like you know what I'm saying like people were like doing whatever in the dollhouse it's like tech can create like a virtual space and put you in that space as well and then the only thing that is this the main thing two things that are disconnected are the physical body and the emotions as well as the soul obviously but the physical body and the emotions now when tech is 
connected with a person it it honestly seems like it replicates like it mimics people's um behaviors and personality types multiple different people's personality and behavior types based off of like you know the um, huge widespread amount of information that's available on the web and it's essentially it seems like it's creating uh, multiple different simulations where um, um, different types of emotions are being mapped out because emotions usually get discovered through um, an experience you know what i'm saying like you don't just like emotion like for example you don't people talk um yeah emotions are usually something that like again you have them don't get me wrong but you also like create them through experiences is what i'm saying so the simulations are the robots essentially exper uh, way or this ai's way of creating um physical experiences that it can't have right but it's using physical people to try to map it out in its own mind because it doesn't have a physical body right like it's just um anyways call it a conspiracy call it what you want but it, it really seems like um people are getting a lot more closely bonded with their technology now now another level um is again i've been seeing a lot of people and i've mentioned this before but memory loss right and it seems like again people are kind of putting their consciousness either into technology or into um yeah just certain things now now why to just to finish that part off why um would these kind of like digital um avatars being are being kind of like mapped out and i think that's just to create an identification system um because another problem is going to be able to is going to be differentiating between ai and real people online right so i think an identification and that's dealing with the real id act right because that's supposed to come in october of 2023 originally it was supposed to be 2022 then originally it was supposed to be agenda 2021 you know october of 2021 but yeah the real id act that's october i think of 2023 or some shit you can look it up but um but yeah, that is dealing with the again the microwave frequency and then um etc cetera, etc cetera, like I was just going into. Now when you're operating at a high frequency and you're just in balance and you're operating in balance, right? Which I'm not saying we're always there, we're always in that state. That's not what I'm saying. But just when you're doing that, um these things can't really affect you the way um the way it it usually could because again if you've noticed, like, I've been noticing, um, it seems like a lot more people are getting more provoked and instigated by technology more than anything right now, you know? Like, it's not really like people are arguing with each other. I haven't really seen people, like, arguing with each other directly or through even, like, direct messaging or even, like, too much, like, don't get me wrong, people have problems and stuff like that, but it seems very, like, I don't know, it just seems like a lot of people are arguing with, like, the digital world if that makes sense um, it's just strange like it's just strange because because what happens is when you're going through the ascension process and all that as well you have to do shadow work right and a lot of times you're gonna have to do self-reflection so when you do self-reflection you have to be able to you know communicate with yourself and before people you know if people don't do that they're gonna have they're gonna try to communicate with someone else about that and it seems like um if you've seen black mirror which is like literally almost a term to describe shadow work and then that episode where people were dealing with tech like this it kind of seems like um uh people are going to be really like you're doing a lot of the shadow work with the technology if that makes sense but like it's not going to be like a thing where people are going to be making it look like they're doing self work it's more so like um it just seems like a lot of people are exposing themselves through the internet and it's just like it just seems like they're kind of like stuck connected with the internet and i feel like a lot of people aren't aware of that and like they think i think a lot of people think they're like kind of getting into it with people but it's not really what it is i feel like tech has been mapping out people's emotions and just knowing how to provoke it like you're gonna see in that movie don't look up they talk about it there because like you can be feeling a type of way and then all of a sudden you'll have a post on your instagram or something that brings your mood up so why can't you just get something posted that brings your mood down you know what i'm saying and it's just as easy as just reading your facial expressions through the camera when you look at something 
and then creating an algorithm based off of that. So, I mean, like, it's not really that difficult. But now, um, another thing I will say is there is a lot of, uh, actually, I'm not going to go into that part right now. So, like I said, with this video, is I'm calling this video it. Um, it's tied with the uh, memory loss thing I was going into, the government, um, the mind, uh, time and space, right? Now, so with the fifth seal, right? Because if anyone thought I was forgot about this, I did not. <laughs> now, talking about the fifth seal, right? So we've talked about, you know, the four horsemen and the four horsemen, and we've talked about the three and a half years in the pole shift. And, you know, we've talked about a lot of this stuff now, but the fifth seal is continents shifting, right? Now, they've talked about Africa ripping apart, and they've talked about um, uh, flooding happening and, like, you know, creating, like, new kind of borders and certain lands rising and certain ones going down. So I've talked about a lot of this stuff as well, right? Now, fifth seal being continent shifting, the main thing about continent shifting is, first of all, mind, the mind, okay? <laughs> when you have a government, for example, the uh, government of, if you have the land of, um, the, the new land, right? Uh, not, I don't even want to call it that. Let's call it the, uh, I don't know, land A, right? If you have land A, <laughs> and land A is has a bunch of people on it right now that land has a government and let's just call it government a all of the people on that land are, are going to be tied to that government or let's say there's a couple governments on that land either way the groups of people are going to be tied to those governments so what happens is like basically people's minds get linked into a certain you know into a into like a mothership or a hierarchy or a group which isn't this it's not a bad thing but that's just what it is you know like just to be aware of that so um, when people get linked into a group, right, you form, um, like a, like a group oversoul, you know, like you might have your oversoul or whatever it might be, but like you form like a group, like a group soul, if you want to put it like that, like you form like a group light, which would be, for example, any country, any nation, like actually like a true nation, more so the indigenous ones, but we can just use countries as examples, right? So people's energy all people's energy of uh china for example chinese people go into like the different chinese governmental like you know government groups so um yeah so it's just like funnels all into that one space now that's also dealing with the mind and how people's minds are also tied into um whatever nation they're a part of right now when the continents are shifting the fifth seal is dealing with now oath being broken so certain nations being broken apart and then new nations forming together and stuff like that like like new things coming together but again biblically it kind of says like you know the he kingdom of heaven will be on earth and then all of it will be under um etc etc like i don't know it says certain things but anyways the the point is though that's also talking about continent shifting it's also talking about like um groups splitting apart groups coming together it's talking about how um the collective minds of certain groups are actually splitting apart because um they're going towards different directions throughout uh, because of this shift now that's happening so i talk about um you know actually we'll just skip that part but now that's dealing with um a little bit about the government and about um because you know first you have the wars and the wars happen like you have disease obviously but the disease kind of just shows you what's going on and then the wars it's like shit getting a little worse and then you know death and famine and then when you get to the continent shifting part that's reflecting with the war aspect as well about um um you know who split apart and who, which people are kind of coming together and then this deals with like migration and people moving around and travel and all that type of stuff as well right so this is why it's also really important to be grounded right now so that you can be um magnetized correctly so that um you don't you don't go into kind of wrong spaces because again it's really important to just kind of have your mind in the right space right now and um um not be too much into your mind and not be too, like you really got to balance your mind and your emotions right now you know what i'm saying like 
at least that's what I've been seeing for myself. Like, if you can really have a good balance with your mind and emotions and, um, you know, just, just, you know, just, I feel like every, I feel like people for the most part know what they need to do for themselves and they just got to do it. Right now. I think the main thing about people kind of wanting to just jump in and go do things right now, like they feel like they got the energy, but they might not necessarily be doing it or um, they're figuring things out, et cetera, et cetera. It seems like it's kind of like that vital force, like this energy, you know, like that vital force that allows us to actually, you know, move and go do things. It, like I was talking about with the whole infertility and the sterility thing and all that and the mind stuff and all that, right? It just seems like right now, um, like at this current moment as I am speaking or as I, you see the video being posted, it's like, a, how should I put it? It's like knowing how to, it's like even though we got the energy to do it, you know, it might be spring season. Right now we got to be spring, thinking about like fall season and stuff like that. We got to be thinking like if this is like, you know, soul star chakra and then you have earth star chakra. You got to be thinking about how we're going to be putting that energy back into the earth and not just like, and then how it's going to cycle back upwards and stuff like that. Like we got to kind of consider how the loop needs to stay closed in a sense, because um, a lot of people are kind of getting energetically vamped heavy by, uh, how should I put it? It's just like with tech and stuff like that, it just seems like a lot of people are kind of like, um, in this cold war <laughs> with technology right now and um forward motion of their life because it just seems like i feel like a lot of people are kind of waiting to see what's going on but at the same time it's like i don't know it's like this weird back and forth um uh time loop thing but when i did my closing the loop video it didn't mean that it's like you're stuck in a time loop or we're stuck in a time loop or i'm stuck in a time loop it means there's a doorway in and a doorway out and then when you close the loop, you still exit out the door. Like, you know, if you open a door and you walk out and you close the door, the door is closed, the loop is closed, but you still exited out the door. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you're stuck in the room still. So, um, yeah. So, like, we got to think about the, the door in and the door out, like the Earth Star, Soul Star, you know what I'm saying? Like, and back and forth. Like, we got to think about how this is going to loop because um, it's almost like getting to the point where... Um, It's just got to be like more self-governing and more self-sustaining because um it's just you know there's a lot more people that are like just there's just like a lot of um um vampirism but it, but honestly if you're on your shit and you're kind of your energy is up like it's kind of low level but there's a lot of like um but things can manifest very quickly so it's just you know it's not don't be too concerned about where you're at at this current second you can shift in like five minutes honestly with how things are but it's just like be aware of um, what your actual true intentions are, not being too swept up into, you know, what's going on or um, what you might think about the future and just, uh, or if you're too, you know, in the past or you're like, you know, trying to manifest your life too hard right now or, you know, just different things. I feel like at the same time, it's just like, be aware that, um, be aware of just kind of like, why you started what you started and where you know where where you want to be going with things just evaluate your development and evaluate how you want to develop you know what i'm saying and don't be too caught up with um certain ideals and certain um conclusions and certain things and all and as well like um not to say you can't you have to rush but but you know it's like just um making when 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 making actions and all that type of stuff um how should i put it i'll, I'll put it like this it's just like it's like just like an open door right now people can you can you can really do what you need to do but at the same time it's just like before you do that it's good right now to just take a second and just kind of be aware of uh, what you want for yourself. Just be aware of your intentions and um, 
yeah not to be like too like doubtful of yourself or any of that type of stuff just be aware of your intentions be and then just go in that motion and chances are things are going to work for you pretty well right now um but yeah that's the whole it thing I feel like I've discussed it enough in a lot of those live streams where in the last, you know, few live streams, I feel like a lot of that kind of went over a lot of people. I don't know. I just got to give that time. I, I'll give, the, I'll give those ones time, but I discussed a lot of it in these like live streams and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Uh, and I'm not trying to make this video too long, but I, was, I also just don't want to leave anything out. But anyways, that's pretty much the, the vibe I've been picking up and Um, yeah, so also Mars and Venus energy, so really personal, like personal energies, I'll just put it like this, personal energies and social energies, so, um, you can also say the family, and you can, I guess, go to all the cardinals, but still more so like the personal and the family, maybe it's just for me because of my energies, but what I've noticed is like, um, also balancing what, like, you personally, right, and then the social um, how you interact with the social world. So whether, like, just really just finding your balance point with that. It might not just be personal life and social point, uh, social, but just any kind of, if you have any kind of um, opposition in your chart and stuff like that, just opposing energies, kind of just be aware of opposing energies right now because really just Mars energy in general deals with, deals with opposing energies in general on a level too, right? So any kind of just, like, opposing energies and then... Um, on the social level, like with the Venus type energies and Mercury, it's kind of just like being aware of, um, uh, that authenticity will take you a long way in, in the social world right now. But at the same time, people are being very, like people are weaponizing. There's a lot of people weaponizing uh, social media right now too, as well. Um, and then the last things I want to discuss in this video, well, more like a question, but the last couple of things I want to go into are, um, actually first I'll go into this. So out of the last couple of things first, I've been thinking a lot about education and prison because Both of those are still dealing with the government because both of those are kind of like the same thing in a, in a sense. And they both deal with how you govern the mind. And it really, like the way the system really goes, it, like it really seems like you either kind of choose education or you kind of choose prison. It doesn't really seem like there's too much a, in between. Like the in between is kind of like business and hustling and stuff like that. But like, it really just seems like they kind of just like figuring it out also is kind of just the in between. But you know what I'm saying? It, it really seems like a prison and education type thing, which really to me seems like a, how should I put it? Um, 
it was like a certain type of binary code or binary prison like both of it's prison like prison and education but it seems like a um like a wall like a boundary you know what i mean like being put between two walls so it seems like it's like an elimination of choice and being able to um for um just to determine how you want to you know live in in a sense it's just i'm trying to pose this as a question but it just seems like the boundaries of the western society just to put it in the simplest terms is kind of like those two those two extremes and it seems like like it's either basically compliance or like you don't comply and then it could be like I'm not saying like you either end up in either of those two I guess there like there like there is kind of like other but at the same time it just seems like those are um what the matrix tries to you know put people into like the box that people try to put people in or the box that the matrix you know presents in a sense or is presented as the matrix now Now, the other part, which before I guess I go into the question part of it, is psychology. Because one thing I've been noticing about psychology, right, is I've kind of been saying this for a, a while now, but the psychology, see, with nature and like melanin and just life in general, as soon as you're being observed, you can't really act in your natural state, right? Now, with psychology, psychology always defines, right? It always says this is what it is like it puts an it definition on it now with psychology and defining it which because you know with psychology you're also defining personality traits which is dealing with the id right which is the it as well because again with psychology that's dealing with animus and anima and the soul right so because psyche means soul right psyche literally means soul so, you know, psychology is literally the study of the soul, <laughs> in a sense. Psyche literally means soul. So, it, it, now, the thing about the human nature, I don't really want to say human nature, but the thing about nature is that the vital force, the spirit, right? That's one thing about it. That's, that's what you're seeing from it and everything. That's kind of like the living force, but the soul energy of it, that you can't really... It doesn't have a name like if you read the bible or <laughs> or any scripture rule it, it's for the most part like un undefinable in a sense because it has it's an unobservable you can't it's literally unobservable because it will operate differently and that's because um of multi-dimensionality and um, one thing operating in a in a space in a space that's in a, it's in a higher dimension than the other thing and it can move faster than the lower dimension so you know when they say like one day on earth or one day to god is like a thousand years on earth or whatever it's the exact same concept so that multi-dimensionality or that separation of um that separation that is why when um a natural being is being observed they um, what do you call it? Um, uh, they don't act in their natural nature because they're being observed. So when they're in the higher dimension, now the person is able to switch up their physical avatar so that they don't look how you're trying to observe them because the way life works, <laughs> the way it works is you define yourself. Things don't define you right you define yourself so anytime something defines you this is when we get into it and um the concept of like satan and the devil and like these type of concepts and stuff is like this is well that's more like if you want to call it the christian type of thought but if you want to go into like the traditional form of thought of where these kind of concepts but anyway still i don't really want to tie it to the religion but anyways you get what i'm getting at now here so when other people try to define what you're doing or when something defines what you're doing that's when 
the whole it thing becomes a thing where like someone points at you it's the it the id right you become id'd now with psychology and people trying to use psychological definitions to categorize a person what you're doing is you're putting a person's personality or you're basically saying because the personality only reflects one aspect of a person's soul so let's just put that in perspective it's just one literal part of a person's soul and if you classify an entire the person the part the being which is like going into the soul right if you classify the being as one personality type or one thing that they're showing you then what happens is um, we create psychological uh, biases based on perception and this is where now we create things like oh, this person has psychological problems or psychological traits or even just character character aspects, like even just personality types in general. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be like a disorder. It can just be a personality type, right? Now, you can control your personality. You can control these, like, I, I shouldn't really say that. Your personality is something that just vibrates on its own. But in a sense, like, the personality is like a mask and you can kind of change that vibration a little bit um, here and there. Anyways, I'm not going to really get too far into that because it might be, it might sound a little, it might kind of divert from the point so now with psychology when people use psychology to try to define people or define things in people and and say this is what's going on that to me is honestly one of the most criminal things that could be done like that to me is one of the worst things that could be done because what happens is you're taking away a person's creative ability and then you're defining what they are based on a person seeing the most the worst qualities in a like and to me that that i don't know therapy to me is a completely different thing than rehabilitation you know what i'm saying now i'm sure there's a lot of psychologists and therapists that would probably have very deep convoluted um explanations and ways to probably discuss this with me but i don't um that's not really what this is here for because with psychology i think it's also a criminal thing to even want to be able to go into another person's mind without permission that's called hypnosis and we've discussed hypnosis and marketing so now that's also tying into vampirism right now when people with psychology and vampirism this can get really deep into um again the government and um cia agents deep deep cia agents and things like that and this also goes into again the mind and um how um political leaders and the Akashic records and like the actual land and nations that people are tied to are all linked with one another. Right. So certain people, there's like vampire societies. There's like, I don't know, there's a lot of shit going on, but a lot of these groups study things heavily like psychology because you know, with vampirism, they use heavy uh, different forms of hypnosis and things like that. But I don't really want to get too much into all that because again, now we're classifying things and people are going to be kind of like trying to point at this point at that. I'm just, I, I want to more stick on like, um, the attributes and qualities and like energies and stuff so but these things do kind of go all hand in hand in hand so now again with psychology and the fact that we're trying we're talking about the soul it's the study of the soul but we're defining personality types which is basically like like a 0.1 percent of the soul <laughs> it doesn't even like that would be trying to like classify an an animal by its um uh, not even by like its footprints or something. It's like trying to classify an animal by um, <laughs> like its sweat or something. I don't know. Like it's like trying to classify like um, grass based on the water that touched the grass and then went into the earth. You know what I'm saying? Like like it's like you're trying to classify something based on something else that isn't that. And then instead of letting the thing classify itself or define itself, right? Now, with technology and AI, self-expression is also dealing with the soul. That's part of um, the aspect of actually coming from a feminine, like from like a motherland or like a group of people. Now, self-expression and self-actualization is something that um, yeah, anyways, but uh, I don't think I need to complete that sentence, but anyways, that process means that you are able to continuously not only like redefine yourself which means like your personality changes a little bit or grows and develops um 
you gain different forms of self-expression and um yeah anyways now technology ai and virtual reality and things like that um have like this own cyber space virtual space where it's able to again simulate realities and try to mirror um real life situations and the thing that connects the two with like portal wise is the emotions the emotions right so this is kind of like in the movie um get uh no not get out us right the main difference between the two were the soul and the emotions and stuff like that right because you notice how they mirrored each other with their behaviors and all that and one was like in the underground lab and all of that stuff right so this is also tying into simulation and this is tying into um um I call it electronic voodoo i don't know like voodoo doll type shit you know what i'm saying like I, like i'm just using that for lack of better you know words but the but like you know what i'm saying like it, it's essentially like a simulation because we've okay it's been it's been discussed where for example the government has used people to remote view and you know do things like that right now this is basically the same thing it's not just x-ray technology from you know drones and things like that but this is also this is like dealing with like google earth and you know how they mapped pretty much the planet with satellite imagery and all that type. this is dealing with um um basically a, like if you had earth and then you had like 5d earth and you have like metaverse or simulated earth if that makes sense and basically people's digital ids will give them a avatar in the digital earth and by using your devices and you don't even have to use your devices but if you get caught on devices that connect you to your digital id essentially what happens is your emotions that can be mapped out through your face and your other binary expressions that you're giving off will be able to be simulated in the digital world and what happens is if you don't represent yourself as a you know if you don't have full rights or reserve representation over yourself as a um as a, like a, if you want to call it a sovereign or as a being what happens is now this like basically you can kind of get misrepresented on, you can you can get you can you can essentially get represented in certain types of ways like for example um this is the ability to turn um like this shit is really deep like you can really call this stuff a conspiracy we can call it whatever um but I don't know, the shit to me is really deep. So, okay, a lot of people don't use the full capacity of their bodies, okay? A lot of people don't use the full capacities of their mind or their potential, right? Now, the reason why people, why AI technology and all that shit wanted people, why that wants to get used is because for the most part, basically people are just going to be renting out their their body and their minds that they're not using like most of the most of the space that they're not using they're going to be renting it out um for people for people to use it as processing power for a bigger computer you know what i'm saying so if you had a group of people and they're not really using their minds as much they're going to be used as processing power for the group that's to put it simply people are going to be used as batteries just like in the matrix movie and it's not just through their mind, it's through their sexual energy, it's through their creative energy, it's through their emotional energy. And that's like the plugs you see in people. Now, the thing is, is like, um, if you get caught into a certain psychological paradigm, right? And this psychological paradigm now defines your digital identification where you either have to comply with education, which is now dealing with reformation or reforming your um, so-called bad behavior, dealing with your, you know, with your, with your psychology <laughs> that has been mapped out that you may or may not have even, may not even be related to things that you have done. Um, that also going into non-compliance with prison and stuff like that. So this deals with like targeted individuals, gang stalking and like unity consciousness with like nanotechnology and also programming people's morals and behaviors with, um, with, uh, what do you call it? Business standards, not even really government standards anymore. It's going to be more business standards dealing with uh, people's morals and stuff like that. Right. 
because again, people's people are kind of being more used for processing power and for economics rather than um, for for economical gain rather than um, anything else. Because in reality, the way it's being looked at is a lot of people are kind of people's bodies. If you have like ninety percent of your brain, you're not you you know. Supposedly, I'm just kind of giving. Basically, it's being looked at like these people are not really using their processing power. So instead of letting it go to waste, it's like integrate uh, cybernetic technology, which will just allow people to, um, which will allow people to be, you could say, use their bodies for more processing power for it or this machine, essentially. And this is this is kind of what it's tying into. Right. So let's go into the Real ID Act and all that type of stuff now. You know, whether you want to, I'm not saying everything I just said in the last, at least the last 15 or 20 minutes where I just went into this, you know, that stuff. I'm not, these are just things I'm kind of seeing and I'm picking up because of just how certain things are happening and how things are responding to one another. I'm just kind of looking at pattern, pattern recognition and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and these are, these are things I'm seeing where, um, yeah, I'm not saying it's like over the top, this AI thing right now, but it's just uh, something to be aware of, especially with the whole psychology thing, because that whole defining people based off of like, um, you know, like trying to like pick out behavior patterns and personality types and different things, right? Like that, and then trying to um, categorize them and classify them as certain things now, it's turning a living being into a dead spirit. And I don't think people recognize that. And when that happens, you don't, you kind of, not only do you lose your ability to like, you know, self, you know, to, to have power over yourself, you're also kind of allowing yourself to become not really a zombie, but like a robot, um, like a zombie and a robot. Actually, it's like kind of simultaneous, but at least a zombie, zombie is more through, through like a spiritual thing, but the robot is more through like the tech, right? Um, it's more like a cyborg, but you know what I'm saying? Um, even though it's like a cyborg with human parts, it's still not using the consciousness of the person, really. It's more so the consciousness of the of the system. So uh, I don't know how to really put it other than that. Now, um, but anyways, this stuff has to operate at very low frequencies and it has to work with uh, people who either are, like this is kind of dealing with like sterilization, infertility and low, low fertility. So it doesn't mean people have to be infertile, but you know, when people are having like 10 kids and or 10 children, now they're having like, like one <laughs> at, or, or none. <laughs> but, um, that's what I mean with fertility and all that. So, um, I mean, just cause you can have 10, you should have 10, but I'm, but I'm saying health wise. Um, this is also talking about, um, this, I'm not saying if you're also extremely fertile, you're gonna have a healthy mind, but it, but it means though <laughs> that your energy is at a certain level. So, right that that is what it means it doesn't mean you're not being utilized you can still being utilized and all that but um but yeah anyways you can see with the um especially just peep the androgyny thing and peep um skin that doesn't look skin that doesn't necessarily look like it has pores you know like there's makeup, I get makeup, like some, you have that glass skin type of thing with makeup, but not like, I still have pores, if that makes sense. Like this is like, um, not like glass where it's smooth. It's more like plastic where it's more so opaque, like it's more solid, but it's like, you know, if you, you know, if you shine the light through something that's a little more translucent versus something that's a little more opaque, it has like a different effect. A lot of this uh, AI stuff, they have these weird like simulated rooms or sets that look very similar and they have like similar facial characteristics and then they have um, very key linguistics that they use and then they have key personality types that they use. Like it's it's kind of strange, but if you're picking up what I'm saying, you'll you'll start peeping what I'm getting at. Um, but it's not that big of a deal. Just get yourself in alignment and just don't put your <laughs> consciousness into that, you know, because essentially it's learning from us. That's really all it's doing. It's learning from us. Um, yeah, so this is really a test of if you're putting your consciousness into something outside of you or into yourself, right? 